Hi, welcome to the Online Jewelry Academy. I'm Don and I'm here, unlike Professor John R. In today's video, John is going to show you how to use tools that you might find around your house that you wouldn't expect to have jewelry tool applications. It's going to be a very interesting video if John shows up. I know he must be here somewhere because John left his Tootsie Rolls here. John loves Tootsie Rolls. He leaves them all over the place. You ever step on a warm, squishy Tootsie Roll? Barefoot? Squishy. Let me grab the camera and I'll walk around the studio and see if I can find him. Oh, hi. Um, I knew you were coming. I just wasn't ready yet. Hi. Did you know that you can use nail polish to paint stripes on the jaws of your rosary pliers? That way, you'll always know where to use the jaws of the pliers to make consistent twists and turns on your jewelry projects. And we have a video on that on the website. It's under Bench Tips and Tricks. While you're here, let me show you some other things that I think that you'll find interesting. Things that are useful that are found in the bathroom. For example, you can use a pair of heavy duty nail clippers to cut a piece of wire. Now you can also use these to cut pallions of solder and they're great for trimming up your nails when you're doing a close up of your hands on camera. Another thing that's really useful is the nail file. I could take that edge right off of this wire just by hitting it with a common nail file or an emery board would work too. But these metal files that you'll find in manicure kits, they actually have diamond dust on them. So they work really, really well to file metal or plastic. Another thing that you may want to do while you're in the restroom is you might want to freshen the cat litter. Did you know that you can use fresh cat litter to dispose of used pickle? What you do is you just pour the used pickle into a container full of cat litter and let it dry and then you just throw it out with the regular garbage. But be sure to check with your municipality to see if these rules apply in your area. And we have a video on that too. Tootsie Roll. Ugh. Did you know that an old toothbrush can become a valuable cleaning device after you're done using it in your mouth? Um, just be sure to put it somewhere and mark it so you don't reuse it after it's used. And toothpaste can actually be used to clean diamond jewelry. Just be sure to rinse it off and uh, dry it thoroughly. I hope these money-saving tips help you in your studio. Be sure to check out our other videos on the OnlineJewelryAcademy.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget about fan funding, because Tootsie Rolls aren't free. <laughs>